30 of the best Intercontinental Champions of all time will be competing in a Royal Rumble to find out who the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time is. I will be playing as Gunther since he is the current Intercontinental Champion. My goal is to help Gunther retain that title. The first entrant is none other than the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Randy Savage held the Intercontinental Championship one time in his career, but he held it for 413 days. Arguably the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. But let's see who drew number two. Oh, it's Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson is actually the inaugural Intercontinental Champion. He won that thing in 1979. What a legend. Here we go. We got Macho Man versus Pat Patterson starting out this Royal Rumble. Pat Patterson is going off right now. I don't think Pat was doing that in his career. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of this Royal Rumble will be crowned the new Intercontinental Champion. I'm excited to see who that's going to be, and I hope it's me, because I'm playing as Gunther. So my goal is to help him retain that title. Who's coming in at number three? R number three? <laughs> Ravishing Rick Rude comes in at number three. Rick Rude held the Intercontinental Championship one time in his career, and he held it for 147 days. Oh, what a DDT! This man got planted. Wait, was that a DDT? I don't even know, truthfully. I think it was. Did you know that WWE's first ever triple threat match was actually for the Intercontinental Championship? I had no idea about that until I was doing research for this video. Who's coming in at number four? It's the American Nightmare! Cody Rhodes held the Intercontinental Championship twice in his career, and his longest reign with the Intercontinental Championship was 233 days. Oh my lord, Pat Patterson and Cody Rhodes was thinking the same thing. Now, this is absolutely beautiful for me. Gunther is still nowhere to be seen. I hope I don't come in until way later in this Royal Rumble. And Greg Valentine comes in at number five. Greg Valentine held the Intercontinental Championship one time in his career, and he held it for 284 days. That's really impressive when you consider how long most people have held the Intercontinental Championship. Most people haven't even held it longer than 200 days. There's the person who held held the Intercontinental title for the shortest amount of time was Dean Douglas. He held it for 11 minutes before being defeated by Razor Ramon. 11 minutes is crazy. <laughs> Cody Rose gets dropped, gets a knee right to the, to the tailbone here. <laughs> Don Morocco comes in at number six. Don Morocco was a two-time Intercontinental Champion, and his longest reign with that title was 384 days. This man is a legend when it comes to the Intercontinental Championship. Now, personally, I got no idea who this man is. I was nowhere near alive yet. <laughs> <laughs> Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon was a four-time Intercontinental Champion, and his longest reign with that title was 197 days. A lot of people will put Razor Ramon at least in their top three greatest Intercontinental Champions of all time, and that's extremely hard to argue with. Who's coming in next? Chris Jericho comes in at number eight. That would have been sick if Chris Jericho came in at number nine. And the reason I say that is because Chris Jericho has held the Intercontinental championship the most out of anyone in history this man has nine reigns but sadly don morocco got eliminated not too long ago hate to see it i think that's actually the first elimination of the night cody rose taking his attention to greg valentine rick rude trying to ruin the party here how rude of him you like that you see what i did there thank you i'll be here all week greg valentine gets eliminated by razor ramon and dolph ziggler comes in at number nine dolph ziggler is a six-time intercontinental champion and dolph ziggler one of the goats when it comes to the ic championship that's all i gotta say cody rose is in a bad spot right now rick rude looking for an advantage here but the ultimate warrior comes in at number 10. The Ultimate Warrior held that Intercontinental Championship two times in his career. Now, the thing I find interesting about Ultimate Warrior's reigns are that both of his Intercontinental Championship reigns lasted 215 days. And the fact that he held it for 215 days for both reigns is a cool stat to me. Hey, I'm surprised Gunther still ain't in this Royal Rumble yet. I find that absolutely beautiful. Y'all do what you gotta do. Beat each other up. I'm here chilling. Ultimate Warrior, he might, oh, Rick Rude didn't follow up with the elimination. I'm actually really surprised about that. Yo, where is Pat Patterson getting these moves? You can't tell me he was doing all that in 1979. Absolutely not. 
Oh, Rick Rude trying to get that elimination. I'm trying to get Pat Patterson out of this Royal Rumble, and there he goes. I, I don't know what number we're at, truthfully. It's been a minute. Oh, Cody Rhodes gets an elimination. Jeff Jarrett comes in at number 11. Jeff Jarrett is also a six-time Intercontinental Champion. There goes Macho Man. In Jeff Jarrett's longest reign, he held it for 93 days. Oh, Cody. Cody went a crossroads. Jeff Jarrett might be getting out of here soon. Many of you already know this, but China is the only woman to have ever won the Intercontinental Championship. Personally, if there is ever another woman to hold the Intercontinental Championship, I would love for Rhea Ripley to hold it. We're about to get our 12th competitor in this Royal Rumble. Who's it gonna be? It's me. It's Gunther at number 12. All right, it's time to retain this Intercontinental Championship. Now, you guys know, Gunther is only a one-time Intercontinental Champion. He is the current Intercontinental Champion at the time of recording this video. But he already has the fourth longest reign in history at 390 days and counting. What a legend, bro. Tito Santana comes in at number 13. Tito Santana is a two-time Intercontinental Champion. My objective is just to survive in this Royal Rumble. Gunther is a beast in this game, and he's a beast in the ring. So I feel pretty confident that I can retain this Intercontinental Championship. Now, who's coming in next? Randy Orton. Okay. I believe Randy only held the Intercontinental Championship one time in his career. Yo, yo, chill on me. Ch Tito. Tito, chill on me. No, 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 that's what I thought. That's what I thought, Tito. Oh, when did Chris Jericho get eliminated? I didn't even see that. Oh, Rick Rude got eliminated. What a nice reversal from Jeff Jarrett. Yo, no, 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 no. No, Jeff. Jeff. No! Oh, let's go! First elimination for your boy. Oh, no! Crossroads! Crossroads! Cody, no! Why would you do that? Oh, let's go, but we stunned. We stunned under the ropes, too. This is perfect. Kofi Kingston comes in at number 15. Kofi is a four-time Intercontinental Champion, and in his longest reign, he held it for 76 days. Fun fact, Kofi is one of my favorite Intercontinental Champions because when I started watching wrestling, Kofi was the current Intercontinental Champion at the time. Shelton Benjamin comes in at number 16. A lot of people would say Shelton Benjamin is their favorite Intercontinental Champion, too. Let me know in the comments, is, where does Shelton rank in your favorites for Intercontinental Champions? Oh, Shelton already got eliminated by Tito. No way, bro. Shelton did not last long at all. The Rock comes in at number 17. The Rock is a two-time Intercontinental Champion. His longest reign with the title was 264 days. Hey, that, that's a big name. I, I don't really want the smoke from The Rock. Second elimination for your boy, Rock. You're really going to cheap shot me like that? Wow. Okay. Oh, and The Rock already got eliminated. Hey, you know, if he got eliminated by anybody, Ultimate Warrior is not a bad person to get eliminated by. <laughs> Goldust is a three-time Intercontinental Champion, and in his longest reign, he held it for 82 days. Over 30 wrestlers who have won the Intercontinental Championship have gone on to become WWE Hall of Famers. So basically, if you win the Intercontinental Championship, there's a really good chance you're going to be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're taking our attention to Cody. Let's get him out of here. He can't even reverse it. Don't help your brother, Goldust. I saw that. Don't help your brother. The Honky Talk Man, the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. Put some respect on this man's name. Oh, and an RKO to the Ultimate Warrior. Like I said, the Hunky Tonk Man holds the record for the longest intercontinental title reign in history. He held it for 453 days. And Bret Hart comes in at number 20. Bret Hart is a two-time intercontinental champion, and in his longest reign, he held it for 145 days. Bret Hart is a lot of people's favorite intercontinental champion, too. I can't even be mad at that. Oh, I just got a mean uppercut. I can't do anything against Honky Tonk Man right now right now oh yes leave me right here leave me right here nobody mess with me gunther i'm gonna need you to get back in the ring though gunther i'm gonna need you to get back in the ring though gunther shake the cobwebs off thank you <laughs> seth freaking rollins comes in at number 21 seth rollins is a two-time intercontinental champion oh no 
Randy, chill. Randy, chill. Why can't I do anything against this man right now? I've been playing too much fight forever. I got to remember these controls. Oh, Bret Hart got eliminated by Seth Rollins. I'm not going to lie. One of my favorite reigns of all time with the Intercontinental Championship is with Seth Rollins. It's a little biased because I love Rollins. He's one of my favorite wrestlers ever. But I also love the rivalry between him and Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental Championship. They put on some fantastic matches, in my opinion. Mr. Perfect comes in at number 22. Mr. Perfect is a two-time Intercontinental Champion, and in his longest reign, he held it for 279 days. Anytime I see someone hold it for longer than 200 days, I'm automatically impressed. <laughs> oh, we just got Randy Orton out with ease. I think that's my third elimination in this match. Shawn Michaels comes in at number 23. Shawn Michaels is a three-time Intercontinental Champion. In his longest reign, he held it for 201 days. Mr. Perfect, how you doing? How you doing? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come on. No, 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 no. Mr. Perfect, don't do it to me. No! He eliminated me! That's so tragic. I thought I had that reversal. Ladies and gentlemen, we are guaranteed to have a new Intercontinental Champion. Absolutely tragic. Now, Wade Barrett comes in at number 24. The interesting thing about Wade Barrett when I was doing research for this video, I completely forgot that he held the Intercontinental Championship five times in his career. Not a lot of wrestlers can say that they held the Intercontinental Championship five times. Who's coming in the Royal Rumble next? It's gonna be Triple H at number 25. Now, the interesting thing about Triple H is that he also held the Intercontinental Championship five times in his career. His longest reign with that title, though, is only 43 days. Oh, and Mr. Perfect has been eliminated. Sorry, Mr. Perfect, you are not the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. Only because you didn't win this match. <laughs> At number 26, it's Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam, like we talked about earlier, is a six-time Intercontinental Champion. Oh, and Seth Rollins got eliminated by Ultimate Warrior. Now, this fact is completely random, but I thought it was pretty interesting. The state that has seen the most Intercontinental Championship changes is the state of New York. They have had over 20 changes in that state. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's coming in at number 27? It's gonna be Edge. Now, the interesting thing about Edge, he also held the Intercontinental Championship five times in his career. Oh, a double team? Oh, the double team didn't work out. Edge, the ultimate opportunist. He saw it coming. Number 28 is gonna be Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy is a five-time Intercontinental Champion. Oh, what the hell? I see you, Jeff. Now, fun fact about Jeff Hardy, if you didn't know, Jeff Hardy is actually the youngest Intercontinental Champion of all time. He won it at 23 years old. Oh, Ultimate Warrior got eliminated. I was kind of rooting for him after a while. We are waiting for entrant number 29. There is a particular person that I'm thinking about that has still not come out yet. Will they come out at number 29 or will they come out at 30? Because I got a hot take as soon as they come out. And here he is in my opinion the best intercontinental champion of all time the miz is an eight-time intercontinental champion he is in second place for the most reigns with that title oh did rob van dam just get eliminated oh that's sad actually the miz also comes in second place behind pedro morales for most combined days as intercontinental champion 599 days total put some respect on the miz come on i'm rooting for the miz right now he's my personal favorite intercontinental champion and i are you kidding me? Sean, I was going off about how great the Miz is, and you're just gonna eliminate him that fast? Wow. All right, who's coming in at number 30? Pedro Morales. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Pedro Morales is also a two time Intercontinental Champion. Pedro Morales also held the Intercontinental title for 619 days total, which means he's held the title the most out of everyone in history. Oh, look at that. Wade Barry with an elimination of gold does. That was a big boot, too. Oh, Jeff, what are you doing? Oh, my God. I didn't think he was going to land that. Oh, and a super kick. That drop kick cost him. And Shawn Michaels is snapping with back-to-back -back eliminations. Wade Barry has been eliminated by Triple H. What a final three. Shawn Michaels, Triple... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Pedigree! Who is gonna be eliminated next? 
It could be Shawn Michaels. Oh, never mind. They're going to team up on him again. Is Shawn Michaels the biggest threat in this match? Oh, Edge just got eliminated. Wow. They was scheming. They said DX forever. If it's going to be us two, it's going to be us two at the end. I'm excited for this. Who is walking out as the Intercontinental Champion? Triple H is not playing, but neither is Shawn Michaels. I thought he was going to go for a pedigree. Oh, what a pile driver. Shawn looking to win this whole thing. Can Triple H hang on? Can he survive? Shawn Michaels looking to take him out. No, Triple H is fighting back. He is still in this match. Don't count him out yet. Triple H now with an Irish whip. As simple as that. And then he gonna hit the ropes after. <laughs> Triple H is the new Intercontinental Champion. That now makes Triple H a six-time Intercontinental Champion as well. This was so much fun. If you guys enjoyed and want to watch some more Royal Rumble videos, you can click right there. I'll see y'all next time. Deuces.